welcome back to the show. Melbourne is going to be fantastic a little bit later in the week. Well, it's busy and it's loud here with the price of petrol zeroing in on $100 per barrel. The price of petrol is obviously going to go up in the next few weeks. And a lot of people are turning away from traditional cars to motorbikes and scooters to get around town. And it's Motorcycle Awareness Week and we have with us a motorcycle enthusiast of the highest order. Right. <laughs> and Star of Sea Patrol, Mr. Dick Bisley. Hi, Hi Steve. guys. Hey, guys. And just a couple Good. of your friends. Just a couple, mate. So you let one motorcyclist know there's something on and you get a hundred. <laughs> now you are a passionate motorcyclist. Yeah. How old were you when you first got into one of these? Uh, I grew up in the country. I was 10. My, my brother was um, about four years old than me. He got a bike and my parents said, that's it, you're not going to get a bike. So that was like red rad to a board. I got one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and I've been riding with it ever since. I have two at the moment. Um, this is not mine. This is one of the sort of new breed of bikes that they're... Uh, we, better, we better show everyone at home what bike you're on because it's not, well, not, not great for your credibility. It's as not a, bigger as, <laughs> as a biker. They are more popular and also, you know, I had the same experience growing up on dirt bikes and my yeah. mum and dad was like, you can't, yeah. you, know, you can't ride those on the open road, you can't ride those because of safety issues, but these are a lot slower and they're, and they're kind of more stable, aren't they? Yeah, these are uh, uh, three wheels, they've got two at the front and one yeah. at the back, so for people that are that are new to it or want to commute around town and we're, and we're promoting that as a you know, fuel efficient, easy way to get around. And, um, you know, you can stop and not have to put the foot out, it's yeah. very stable. Um, and that's the thing about uh, modern motorcycling, I guess, is there's something out there for everybody. So, and I use my bike to go to town because parking's an issue and, um, and they're more fuel efficient, of course. And, Environmentally, they, they obviously have a much lesser carbon footprint when you compare yeah, them to a right. car. Right. But, but what about the safety issue? You well, know, particularly well, as a mum, it would just fill me with horror if the boys came home when they're older and said, said Mum, I want a motorbike. I want a motorbike. Well, at least they are beco they're becoming safer, and I think people are becoming more aware, and that's what we're promoting in Motorcycle Awareness Week is that look twice for bikes, you know, especially in the blind spots. Mm. But the figures are coming down, they are becoming safer. And I mean, if you want to go quick, there are track days for guys who want to go mad on them. Mm -hmm. You yeah. go to Ocean Creek or any major tracks around uh, the country and ride fast if you want to do that. Tracy Grimshaw um, recently got her learners and uh, she was out in East Creek. Very afraid, be very afraid. Oh, I know, I know, she was flying <laughs> down the street, but, but it sort of got me um, interested in it again. And, and is it a difficult thing to, to get into, you know, at, at, no matter what age you are? That, I think the great thing, Carl, is that um, there are. There are many ride days you can do from you know from learners right up through to superbikes. So whatever stage you're at, you can go and find out about it and do it under pretty safe conditions. So. And there's some very cute little um, scooters, the, the European scooters, which are becoming more and more popular. Yeah, I, I love seeing people. Look at all these guys; they're all tied up in sort of a, a bikey gear. But people go to work in suits on them. I love that. Yeah. They've got a helmet and a suit, and they get straight off at the office and. And so they're available for everyone, and that's a, that's a great thing. And it's a real brotherhood, sisterhood thing, you know. That's a great thing about this morning. Yeah. You know, everybody's here because they're just mad about motorbikes. Is it just all over? All over. You know, like, like, like I said, you tell one person, you yeah. get a hundred. So what's happening this week for Motorcycle Awareness Week? Just making um, you know, making people out there aware that we're around and that um, you know they keep their eye out for us. And, um, but also letting people know that it's an efficient fun way to get around too. I just came back from Phillip Island and went down to see Case 6 day to go around and there were thousands of bikes and all manner of bikes, scooters and, and it's a great thing that's available to everybody. It's yeah. not like the biker image of, you know, tough guys like me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> On your big bike. Yeah, I'm a big bike. <laughs> Steve, is it great to see you, mate? Yeah, nice to see you. Now, what about the carbon footprint of Channel 9 for car bikes? <laughs> the money is not going yeah. <laughs> Alright, it is time for the latest news. It is zero in. In on the bottom of the hour, so here is Georgie Carter. Georgie.